And this is now today's... Well, a very good evening to you wherever you are. I do hope that you can join me in appreciating this truly beautiful evening. A night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something. A beautiful picture under the floodlights. Traffic and transport round here, not the kindest. But regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. The Bayern fans singing their songs. This indeed is a super club in so many ways. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest and I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. We have already started here. Kimpembe. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe, there's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed. He gets into his stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf. But when the goal's in front of him, he's also got that cool head that's required to, to pick a spot and finish everything off. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Bukiele. And it's Verratti. Forwards and with intent. Usiala. Now it's Chupa Motting. Gets his pass away. Bukiele. Here's Bettina. And it's Messi. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> Kimmich. Yeah, we're actually currently watching a contest of, of insipid probing. The only way is up, I hope. Goretzka. Oh dear, let's set about that pass to better. Fabian Ruiz. To Sergio Ramos. And it's Marquinhos. Vitinha. Passing is crisp and sharp. Over to the left. It's a throw in. Ferretti. Oh, it's Fabian Ruiz. Ball swung in. Long ball looking to counter. And he's forced to go back. Marco Verratti. Oh, it's a promising build-up, there's plenty of really nice passing. Mbappe really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Played out to the right, looking to break out here. Now then, the ball's come loose. De Ligt. And Koeman. And it's Muller. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Sergio Ramos. Move forward, and quickly so. Nice try, but he wasn't buying it. Mbappe. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Verratti proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. No, 
Oh, no way he was going to let him past. Upa Meccano. And it's Muller. Played out to the left flank. That's a poor pass, too easily intercepted. Sergio Ramos. Marquinhos. Mukiele. Davis producing a good steal there, showing a good level of alertness. And it's Chupomotti. Footballing width usually identifies with running room, and we've just seen a prime example. Kimpembe. And the half time whistle goes. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. And please welcome but our still lads to the goals. field. Some first half thoughts. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. And we're off again. Bayern Munich can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Lovely ball into space. Now it's Chupa Motting. And the finish! It's there! And finally he has great life into the game! about that, Jim Beglin? Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant set-up and finish. Number 13, Eric Chupomoting! Bayern Munich, break the deadlock. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Mbappe is offering an apologetic gesture of sorts. Ah, he made it look a bit predictable. Goretzka. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. It's a pretty loose pass. Nuno Mendes. Some really good ball movement. Fabian Ruiz. Mbappe. Davis can get it clear. And the counter is on. Fabian Ruiz couldn't quite squeeze that one through. The attendance for this match Paris is 62, are definitely going about this the right way. They're coming again and again. Spot on, Peter. Kimmich. The ball is loose and the chase is on. Coleman. And the shot! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Look, that was a, a technical interaction of great football. That has gone down a treat. Goal! After 64 minutes is... Number 11, Kingsley Coleman. Paris Saint-Germain are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. In progress. Bayern Munich get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. 
He's a sharp little ball here. Coleman with the massive leap. He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Nicked it back promptly. Sergio Ramos. It's Carlos Soler. That's going right the way across. Oh, good read. Fabian Ruiz. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Substitutions taking place. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. And the break in play means they can now affect their change. Yeah, he's looking for instructions, probably something along the lines of go make a nuisance of yourself. Soler usually is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can, though. And they're back on the ball again, and it's Chupo Motting. Mola. Mane really added the width there, thanks to his willingness to make the run. Kimpembe is there to heave it away. Out to the right. And now they can spring out of defence. Goretzka. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Defending was strong and firm. Paris Saint-Germain looking to pass their way through. Chance to break. Danilo does well to get it back. And it's played forward. Fabian Ruiz. Look at the space here. Goretzka. Kimpembe cuts it out. Marquinhos. Poor pass that, sloppy. Now they can break here. Keep the ball and you win the game. It really is that simple. The pressing's intense and it's paid off. He's lost the ball there. Great tackle. There will be three minutes at a time. Paris Saint-Germain have it back and they can go again. He's found a way past. And the number on the board is three. That pass needed to be better. He's a one shot at goal! It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. Oh, shooting chance! It's bounced out! And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. So they have their win. They had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the result followed inevitably. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? When you get free-flowing football out wide with consistent supply into the box, it brings excitement and entertainment to the proceedings. And that was a brilliant display of, of good wing play for me. And I just really liked Security what I saw here. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.